Hey guys, thanks for coming back. So today I'm going to show a demonstration on how I make replacement snares for the power ram. This isn't for free hanging neck snares, it's just the power ram. So first foremost the cable. So the cable is 1 by 7, 3 64ths and I cut it at 47 inches long. These are the other components you're going to need. You're going to need heat treated nut. It's like an eighth inch nut, a little washer, a 1 16th ferrule for your breakaway. This is also the breakaway on this snare. And then a 3 32nd uh, stop, single stop. So first what you want to do is all your cable is always going to have uh, a memory to it. It's going to lay a certain way, so you want to let it lay naturally. doesn't matter which end you go to. So I do my breakaway first, so I put the 116th ferrule on there and then I'll go back about an inch from the end and make a 90 degree bend and then just loop my ferrule through there making sure to leave a tag end. So then now I'll take it to the press. It doesn't take much to, to crush these but I do it uh, twice. So I'll go there and I'll go there. So this one has to be a, a 1 16th ferrule. It can't be any heavier because that is the actual breakaway to make this snare legal. So now you can make your loop and you can see that's perpendicular to your snare wire. Because otherwise if I didn't uh, bend it 90 degrees, it would be twisted. So now that you have your loop, you put on your heat treated nut, you put on your washer, and then your end stop. I used to always make them with 3 32nd uh, ferrules is what I always used to make them with was just this and not the end stop but this year I switched uh, to using the the single stop so again leaving your your snare hang naturally and you go about two and a half inches back and make a 90 degree bend and then I'll put it, I'll loop this cable back through. So then I'll go to the press, put a little pressure on, making sure that my loop is flat and that it's not twisted and making sure that the cable, they're laying side by side right there. And then you just press it. So you can see how nice they're laying side by side. I don't know if that's in focus. So now that we have that done, we'll slide our washer all the way to the stop and we'll put our heat treated nut in the press. We'll put a little pressure on. So you want to make sure, leave a tag end at the back side and then just press it down. So you can see how I have a tag end hanging out and the threads in this nut are going to hold real good on here because this is where your trigger of your power ram is going to sit is against that washer so you got to make sure that that's good and tight because you need that to hold. So then what I do is I see a lot of guys using support wires and what they do is they just tie them to the power ram. I personally don't do that. What I do is I put my support wire right on the snare itself. So what I do, this part's kind of important. You just make a little hook and you just hook it through. Because if you don't make your, your hook and wrap it now, um, your support wire or your snare is gonna just spin on your wire. So then you can go one or two loops around. You make your little bridge. I'll get that washer out of there. And then I just put a pliers on it and hold it make my wraps this way when that power ram or the ram arm fires I don't have to worry about it getting hung up or caught up at all in any of my support wires it'll just slide right down here you can even just taper it to the front a little bit so on some of them you might have to take the pliers and just open your bridge up just to make sure that your washer is sliding freely on there because this is where your trigger is going to sit so then you want to leave your tag end here but you want to make sure your tag end is longer than your loop because if your loop comes over top of that tag and it comes back here 
when a coyote walks through, it might slowly slide to here and it's going to hit your tag end and he's going to feel that and he will back out. So you want to make sure and leave that longer than what your end loop is. So then next you can see how the oval or the, tear, the teardrop shape is in that snare. So now what I do is I take my my press arm and what we're going to do is what we're called is called loading a snare. So I'm just going to run it around this round bar you can use anything and this is the breakaway side. So when I first start I'm going to hold it tight and I'm going to put a little bit of pressure and then I'll lighten up as I go. So a little bit of pressure and I get lighter as I get back and you can see it's a lot rounder, so I'll give it just a little bit more. And you can see how much rounder that snare is. So, also with uh, with my support wire being out this far, uh, my power ram arm is going to come down to about here, so it will allow that snare to be a little bit further away, so you can set it a little bit further in the trail. And potentially hide that round behind a tree. So now that the snare is complete, um, the, the snare wire is new. This is just stovepipe wire, so it's got machine oil and grease and stuff on it. So what I'll do next is I'm going to boil it uh, in baking soda. I'll boil all my snares in baking soda. It'll take the shine off of this. It'll take the oil and grease off of that metal. And traditionally, I just let them dry, and that's how I've always hung them but what got some guys will do as a next step is they'll dip them or they'll run them in a full metal jacket and this year I think I'm gonna do a couple dozen snares and I'm actually gonna um, dip them after I boil them I'll dip them in full metal jacket and see if it makes any kind of difference I'm not sure if it will or not I've never ever tried it but they're plenty good once you boil them and get all that grease off them off the, the stovepipe wire and get the shine off the snare wire itself it'll dull it down uh, they'll be ready to hang I know a lot of guys will just make them just like this and they just go hang them and if that works great um, I don't but so I just thought to make a quick video and just kind of show you guys how to make a replacement snare uh, for your power ram okay.